Hey, sports court fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. The 1953 Bowman set is considered by many collectors to be one of the most beautiful trading card sets ever produced. Relying solely on full color photographs, 1953 Bowman marked the first time Bowman utilized this medium in a trading card set. For going traditional aspects of card design, the 1953 Bowman card fronts lack any writing whatsoever. The unencumbered player image stands alone in vivid color, allowing collectors to examine every detail of the photograph. Measuring 2.5 by 3 and 3 quarters inches, this slightly oversized dimension permits the photography to truly stand out as if each card were a miniature canvas. At just 160 total cards, 1953 Bowman is one of the smallest sets the company ever made and was printed in two separate series. Card numbers 1 through 112 constitute the first series or low numbers, and numbers 113 to 160 compromise the second series or high numbers. Set builders will often find that the high number cards are extremely difficult to find with good centering, making the task of building a high grade set very costly in time and money. The 1953 Bowman checklist is dotted with Hall of Fame players, including popular cards for Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, and Yogi Berra. While certainly not his last baseball card, 1953 served as the final appearance of Stan Musial in a Bowman set. Fittingly, it is considered by vintage collectors to be his best looking card of all time. Although most of the cards feature single players, the New York Yankees receive an additional focus in the set. An intriguing card combines a trio of Yankee stars with Yogi Berra, Hank Bauer, and Mickey Mantle. Teammates Billy Martin and Phil Rizzuto are also paired on another combo card in the set. In this video, I'm going to show the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1953 Bowman set based on their PSA 5 values. I'll also give the values of those cards in higher grades, as well as the population count of those grades. Now, before I get to the top 10, here are the cards that just missed the top 10. At number 15, the Billy Martin Phil Rizzuto card. At number 14, the Billy Martin card. At number 13, the Larry Doby card. At number 12, the Minnie Minoso card. And at number 11, the Roy Campanella card. So, which cards made the top 10 list? Let's go find out. Coming in at number 10, we have the Eddie Matthews card. In a PSA 5, there have been 164 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $206. There have been 164 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $351. There have been 116 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $693. There have been 68 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,687. There have only been 6 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in August of 2019 through Memory Lane and sold for $3,763. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Eddie Matthews card. At number 9, we have the Warren Spawn card. In a PSA 5, there have been 192 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $217. There have been 169 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $438. There have been 99 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $720. There have been 66 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,669. There have only been 6 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in January of 2021 through eBay and sold for $6,000. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Warren Spawn card. At number 8, the Duke Snyder card. In a PSA 5, there have been 187 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $252. There have been 173 graded a PSA 6. 
They sell for around $385. There have been 100 graded APSA 7. They sell for around $807. There have been 49 graded at PSA 8. They sell for around $3,710. There have been 9 PSA 9s. The last PSA 9 sale was in August of 2023 through eBay and sold for $22,100. And, like the others, there have not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Duke Snyder card. At number 7, we have the Whitey Ford card. In a PSA 5, there have been 187 graded copies of the current VCP average price of $264. There have been 144 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $455. There have been 67 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $1,440. There have been 36 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $10,800. There have only been 3 graded a PSA 9. The only PSA 9 recorded sale in VCP's database took place in August of 2005 through memory lane and sold for $24,019, placing the Whitey Ford at the number 5 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And again, there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Whitey Ford card. At number 6, we have the Bob Feller card. In a PSA 5, there have been 160 graded copies with the current VCP average price, of $325. There have been 134 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $363. There have been 68 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $740. There have been 52 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,825. There have only been 8 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in July of 2021 through Heritage and sold for $5,640. And again, there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Bob Feller card. At number 5, the Stan Musial card. In a PSA 5, there have been 319 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $419. There have been 272 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $675. There have been 252 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $1,025. There have been 123 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $2,206. There have been 16 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in February of 2024 through Memory Lane and sold for $18,226, but there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Stan Musial card. Coming in at number 4, we have the Yogi Berra Hank Bauer Mickey Mantle Combo card. In a PSA 5, there have been 280 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $513. There have been 273 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $718. There have been 174 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $1,076. There have been 110 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $3,136. There have been 14 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in October of 2021 through Memory Lane and sold for $52,952, placing the Barra Bauer Mantle card at the number 2 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And again, there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Barra Bauer Mantle Combo card. At number 3, we have the Yogi Berra card. In a PSA 5, there have been 162 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $545. There have been 126 graded a PSA 6. 
they sell for around $810. There have been 64 graded at PSA 7, they sell for around $2,500. There have been 60 graded at PSA 8, they sell for around $4,000. There have been 9 graded at PSA 9, the last PSA 9 sale took place in February of 2024 through memory lane and sold for $39,000. $442, placing the Yogi Berra also at the number 3 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And not surprising, there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Yogi Berra card. Now at number 2, we have the Pee Wee Reese card, an iconic card in the hobby and the set. In a PSA 5, there have been 291 graded copies the current VCP average price of $946. There have been 280 graded at PSA 6. They sell for around $1,527. There have been 224 graded at PSA 7. They sell for around $1,755. There have been 135 graded at PSA 8. They sell for around $3,244. There have been 19 graded at PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in February of 2022 through Heritage and sold for $26,533, placing the Pee Wee Reese card at the number 4 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And there has actually been one card graded a PSA 10, but there has not been a reported sale of that PSA 10 card in VCP's database, so who knows what that card would sell for today. And at the number one spot, yes, it is the Mickey Mantle card. In a PSA 5, there have been 399 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $3,002. There have been 304 graded a PSA 6, they sell for around $3,694. There have been 234 graded at PSA 7. They sell for around $6,637. There have been 111 graded at PSA 8. They sell for around $15,220. There have been 23 graded at PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in August of 2023 through Heritage and sold for $234,000, also placing the Mickey Mantle at the number one spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And yes, there has been one Mickey Mantle graded a PSA 10. However, in VCP's database, there is no reported sale of that card. So it's anyone's guess as to what that one PSA 10 53 Bowman Mickey Mantle card would sell for today. Well, there you go. The top 10 most valuable cards from the 1953 Bowman set. As always, would love to know in the comments what you think about the 1953 Bowman set in general and the cards that made the top 10 list. And if you've missed any of the videos in this series, there are two that you can check out. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.